Hey guys, quick tip for anybody with a US General Series 3, um, the Harbor Freight, uh, I have the big tool chest in the top thing, but if you have the drawers and everything, this is this is what this tip applies to, and this is the ease of like use kind of thing. And I'll just get right into it, what I did, and it might help you out, and I don't know why I didn't think of it sooner, but I did, and it's helped out quite a bit after I did this. It took like three minutes to do. Um, this is a very easy mod to do, and all you're doing is taking these, um, these locks, out of your drawers. I left one in here to show you how to take it out. But if you're in my case scenario where you have this 56 inch thing, this big toolbox just sitting against the wall and it's never gonna go anywhere, it's just gonna stay there against that wall and you're not gonna roll it around, then there's no reason why you can't just take your uh, locks out and just open it like this. Never occurred to me until somebody in the comments mentioned it and I was like, hmm. Maybe I should. In a second, I'm gonna show you how to do it, but word of caution, uh, my neighbor was telling me this. He was like, if you think about it, if you don't have the locks in there and you start pulling drawers out and instead of closing them after you get your tool out and you just leave them open and you open another drawer and another drawer and this thing starts getting cattywampus and wanting to tip over, none of these drawers are gonna have locks and they're all gonna start tipping with it and that's just gonna cascade into a big pile of uh, tools and toolbox and maybe you. So be careful when you're doing this you don't want to do this if you're not the person that pulls the tool out and closes the drawer. If you don't, this is probably not the hack for you. Now let me show you how to do it. Okay, so I left the guard on this drawer right here, and I'm going to show you how to take it off, right? So it's not very hard, and all you have to do is you're just going to come to the inside of the drawer here, and you'll see this little um, tab right here. You're going to push that up, and that disengages this lock to where you can just pull this out, and out is going to come your whole guard or your whole like latching mechanism. Then now that drawer just opens and closes just like a regular drawer without a latch. So yeah, this could be overly stupid to me. Maybe this is the thing a lot of people do is to take their drawer latches out. I didn't think about it until somebody commented it in one of my last videos, but I want to make this video for people like me who don't think of things like that. So if it was helpful for you, you can hit the thumbs up button. Uh, any comments you have asking how to do it. I mean, I can't imagine. Uh, <laughs> How do you do it? I don't think in many ways had to comment that, but uh, if you have any questions, let me know. I'm doing a few more videos on this toolbox. I'm getting a end, the end locker, and then um, I'm going to give you like a tour of my toolbox. Uh, those will be coming up. So if you're into this kind of toolbox, you could subscribe or just like come back to the channel. You don't need to. I generally don't do toolbox videos. I do car projects on this. This thing is dirty. But yeah, guys, quick tip. Thanks for watching. Bye.